thing. <laughs> probably the next week or so um, a lot of you guys I know follow me on here because you like my makeup and artistry and freelance content um, so I thought I would kind of let you guys in on my life and show you kind of what I do for work um, I'm not gonna vlog every day but I'll vlog when I have things going on so today is Thursday um, it is May 2nd, and I just got ready for the day. I'm actually going to turn this way because the natural lighting is this way. Um, so yeah, I just got ready for the day. I'm probably going to clean up this horrible mess. It's pretty bad. <laughs> um, so I'm probably going to clean up this mess, and I need to get my kit ready because I have a pretty busy weekend. Um, so yeah, maybe I'll show you guys how I get my kit ready and how I prep for work and all of that. Um, my arm is getting tired. How do people do this? So, yeah, I have, um, tomorrow is Friday. I have two spray tans and a bridal trial. Um, and then Saturday I have two appointments at 6.30 in the morning. And then I have a little, like, I don't know, probably like half hour break and then I have to head to a wedding. So I have like a 50 minute drive to a wedding. Um, it is a small group. It's only three women, um, the bride, her mom, and her sister. So I kind of like that because for the most part, most of my weddings are really large. So I don't really get to like kind of take my time. I usually have to really be, you know, going fast with everyone's makeup. Um... So yeah, I have that wedding, and then after that, I have one more appointment. I have just like another event makeup that I have to do, and then I have another wedding Sunday as well, which I think is five girls. And then I'm not doing anything after that. I'll probably just chill out. So yeah, I got a busy weekend ahead, so I definitely have to prep my kit and make sure I'm organized. Um, as this vlog goes on, I kind of want to give tips for just business, having your own business, and how I stay organized, and um, how I prep for different jobs and stuff like that, because I know a lot of you that watch are maybe just starting out as makeup artists, and you probably, you know, would like some advice and stuff, so as the vlog goes on, I'll kind of give you guys my little tips and tricks. Alright, so I just got a package from Amazon, um, so I thought I would share with you guys what I picked up. A lot of this stuff is for my kit. Um, I order from Amazon pretty regularly. Like, I feel like at least once a week a package comes from Amazon. It's just so easy and convenient, and they have so many little things that, like, other stores don't have. So, I love Amazon. So, I'm going to open this up, and I guess we'll just kind of see what's in here. I don't know if my whole order is in here or what, but I did spend, like, $100 yesterday, actually. So, it came really quick. Um, so yeah, let's see what's in here. I'm like trying to figure out like how to position you guys. Excuse my phone. By the way, I am vlogging on my cell phone. I don't have a vlogging camera. I have a camera that I could use, however the lens is broke. I do plan on getting the lens fixed um, or actually purchasing a new lens, but I've already purchased a new lens for the camera twice. And it broke both times after using it like only a couple times. So I'm debating if I'm better off just getting a whole new camera or if I should just try buying another lens. I don't know. The, the other two lens that I bought were through Amazon. So I don't know if something was wrong with them. Um, the one that I was looking at was through like an actual camera website. So I'm thinking maybe it's a little bit more legit. I don't know. Anyways, let's get into what's in this package. Oh yeah. Awesome. So I did get 
a empty palette for some powders. I have, um, I just transferred some of my single shadows into a new um, empty magnetic palette, but I have a bunch of face powders by Graftobian that I needed a new home for. <laughs> So I'm hoping to be able to put them in here. Um, and this was a lot cheaper than like a Z palette. I don't know how well it's gonna last, but I mean, I don't really care. Oh, it has a mirror. That's actually really nice. Um, yeah, this isn't as big as I thought, <laughs> but hopefully it works. And is this magnetic? Like, I don't know. I need to try this out because I, it doesn't look magnetic to me. Maybe it is. I don't know. We're going to try this out. Um, I need to organize today, so hopefully my powders will fit in here. What else did I get? Yeah, I'm definitely missing something. Um, so the next thing I got was these. Um, these are just Demi Wispies. I get these on Amazon. They come in this little package. It's called Beauty Creates, however, which is weird, there's always a new name to the brand. It's like the same packaging, but the name of the brand always changes, but they're basically just Demi Wispies. Um, I use these on a lot of my clients. Um, yeah. Actually, there definitely is a few things missing in here, I just realized. Yeah, I hope they come soon. I hope they come tomorrow. Or maybe they're coming in the mail today. I haven't gotten the mail yet. The next thing I got was these. So I got these little foundation bottles. Well, they're just bottles. You can put whatever you want in them. Um, but I was thinking about putting a couple of my foundations in here because um, they're tiny and they're plastic. So they're less fragile than the glass bottles. And um, they'll just take up a little less room in my freelance kits. Um, I wonder, like, I hope they work well. I don't know. How, like, how does this even, oh, I'm going to need a little funnel, huh? Yeah, I'm definitely going to need, like, a little funnel or something to get the foundation in here. I don't know if I have one. I don't know. But, yeah, I thought that this would be a good, nice little space saver. Like, it's obviously much smaller than your average foundation bottle and it's plastic so it's easier to like bring around it's not as fragile um next thing I got what is this oh I got these lashes so I actually really like these lashes for myself um they're by a brand called R Sense on Amazon and this is probably my third time ordering these um I love the box that they come in because it's like a little tropical box very cute and they're like they're mink lashes and what's also nice is it comes with this little eyelash applicator applicator um, but this is what the lashes look like um, I like these for like an everyday lash they um oh god they are not too dramatic they just add you know like just enough um, and these are actually really pretty for brides too if you're looking for more of a natural mink lash and they're only like $8.99 so Really love that and like I said the box is so cute And the last thing in here is another pair of lashes which actually are one of my current favorites for brides um, These ones are a little bit more than the other ones uh, So yeah, these are mink lashes as well. I think these are like $10 um, and they are so pretty. So they're by a brand called Luna Moon, and this is what these lashes look like. They're much more, like, they're, they're really pretty because they're wispier on the ends. Um, I love them. I think that they look so nice, and I feel like these two are going to be my go-to bridal lashes for someone that wants maybe a little bit more of a natural mink lash, and then I have ones for, like, more 
like the girls that want more dramatic mink lashes. Um, but yeah, that's what came in this package. Hopefully my other stuff comes in the mail today and I definitely need it by tomorrow because I need some of this stuff for the weekend. So yeah, I just thought I would share with you guys what I got from Amazon. All right, you guys. So my other package did end up coming in the mail. Um, so yeah, I thought I would just share with you the other three things that came in the mail. By the way. These are so good. They're diet sparkling beverages. This is orange dry. Oh my God, it's so good. So anyways, um, the one thing that I got, which these look different. I usually get these at Walmart. However, they had them on Amazon and I was like, you know what, I'll just try them, but they look slightly different. These are the Shy Style by, oh my God, hold on. These are the Shy Natural Effect Lashes by Kiss. And this is what they look like. However, the ones I get at Walmart look slightly different. But I use these for like Mother of the Bride and Grooms um, that want more of like a natural lash because these ones are really lightweight. So you don't really feel them on the eye. But yeah, these ones are definitely more dramatic than the ones I get at Walmart even though the ones I get at Walmart are the same style I don't know maybe just it's because it's from Amazon I'm not sure the next thing I got were these these are little empty containers with like a little like the little opening here and I was I didn't realize how small these are they're very tiny but I was going to transfer some of my translucent or just like loose setting powders into here. Um, I have a couple by Maybelline that I love, but the packaging, the loose fit me powders, it's huge. It's like this huge square. Um, and I love the Huda powder as well, but that's really huge. So it takes up a lot of space in my powder section of my kit. So I thought if I had like these little empty containers, I can put just some of the powder um, in here and they these would take up a lot less space. But these are kind of tiny, so I'm like, I don't know. Um, but I mean, it's not like I use a ton of loose powder when I do makeup. I can just refill them as, you know, the product runs out and I'll just keep the bigger packaging in my storage do you guys get what i'm saying i don't know i'll show you guys when i organize but yeah i mean they are pretty tiny but i just thought it would take up a lot less space because some of the packaging for loose powders is so big and bulky um and then the last thing i got is this it's a label maker i don't know how this is gonna work but I really wanted a label maker for my kit so I can label certain things um, because yeah, there's certain things that I wanna label, especially once I, if I end up using these, once I transfer the powders into here, I obviously wanna label them so I know which powder is which. So I, yeah, I got a label maker um, off of Amazon. I think it was $10, so hopefully it works because I mean, it was really inexpensive and I hope it comes with tape, I hope. Um, but yeah, I'll let you guys know you know how this did ends up filling up this palette that I featured in the um, haul part of this video from Amazon and I actually do like the color of it I mean the size of it and it is like a nice like slim palette which is really really nice um, and yeah this is what I ended up putting in here I just kind of consolidated old powders that I had and only put the ones that I think I will use in here because I have other ones I still had in another palette but i'm not even gonna bother with them because i don't really ever reach for them so these are right here these ones right here are graftobian powders these are basically like foundation powders but you can definitely set your foundation with them they have more of a mattifying finish and they do have some coverage um and then these two are by ben nye these are like brightening powders so you have more of the yellow tone and then the pink tone here we have um, two blushes. This obviously is a much shimmery one. I don't even know the brands of these. I got them in my Ipsy bag one day and I thought that they're really pretty. 
Um, and then I have a couple highlights. So obviously I carry more highlighters and blushes and all of that, but this is just like just a random face palette that I will have in my kit. Um, and it's nice because I have a lot of compact like powders from MAC that I use to set foundation, specifically the mineralized skin finishes. But if I need like an in-between shade or a shade that I don't have in the MSFs, I can use um, some of these. Um, and then, yeah, we have these three highlighters by Anastasia from one of her glow kits. So, um, yeah, this is more of a, like a bronzy one. This is a, a much lighter one. Even though it's like looks yellowy, it's just like a very um, bright highlight. And then we have more of like a champagne gold. So, and then, like I said, I love that this has a mirror. So I just thought I would share that with you. <laughs> brushes in my car because that's what you gotta do and I was like oh, I'll just run in and get a protein bar and a coffee and I called my mom and I was talking to her she's like let me make you an egg sandwich like it, it will take two seconds just run home real quick because I'm right in town like this is <laughs> Italian moms for you like I was totally fine going to the convenience store get my protein bar but she convinced me to come home and grab an egg sandwich. Like, <laughs> anyway, I was cleaning my brushes in my car. I'm sure I got some looks, but gotta do what you gotta do. Um, so yeah, now I'm running home to go get an egg sandwich and um, probably I'll just grab a cup of coffee from home as well, rather than, I was gonna get a cup of coffee at the convenience store as well, but I'll just get it at home and then we're off to my next location. Please, excuse me. 
just did and it's been a long day. I've been, I've been doing makeup. Well, I did have a little break, but basically I was doing makeup since 6.30 this morning. Um, besides having to drive to my next venue, that was my only break. Um, this bride was so awesome. Her and her mom and her sister were just like so sweet which makes my job a lot easier and they were just great like I loved working with them and she looked so beautiful um, I wish I could have saw her in her dress but um, she was getting dressed when I was leaving so now I'm heading home I'm going to probably go home eat something freshen up because I'm looking really like I'm looking like I've been up since 5.15, if you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, I'm probably gonna go home, eat something, and then I have to leave again for another makeup at four o'clock. Well, actually, I should leave by like 3.40. The other makeup is actually in my town, so it's not like I have to travel too far, but she lives on the other side of town, so it is a little bit further. Yeah, it's a little bit further, but yeah, I'm gonna go home. I have about another 40, no, I mean not 40, 20 minutes in the car. So just thought I would update you. But yeah, this wedding was so nice. Um, it's at a venue that I've never done makeup for a bride at the venue, but I've been to the venue many times for various events. Um, so yeah, it's the Brownstone in Patterson, New Jersey. It's a really nice venue. Um, they have a really beautiful room. I want to say it's called the conservatory. It's like an all glass room. It's really cool. Um, but yeah, they're like so busy there. They always are doing multiple events at one time. Like, I don't know how they do it. Um, if you're familiar with like Jersey housewives, Carolyn Manzo, um, her husband and his brother are the owners of the Brownstone. So yeah, but anyways, um, I've been there many times. They have, their food is so good. Like their cocktail hour is amazing. So yeah. Anyways, I thought I would just update you guys. Um, so yeah, I'll probably check in later. If not, then I will check in tomorrow at some point. Um, after my last makeup appointment, I'm probably going to go home shower because I was sweating. Plugging my shit up and down the stairs at the brownstone was not fun. Um, so yeah, I'm probably going to go home, shower, and then I'm supposed to see the Avengers tonight at 10.30 at night, which I'm not happy about, but my boyfriend said that's the only time that they had available because apparently it keeps selling out and he wants to see it before he gets any spoilers online. No one wants to find out the ending through like Facebook or something. So, yeah, I'm just gonna um, probably shower and then go take a nap. I think I'm gonna definitely take a nap because I will get home to probably after 2 in the morning and I have a wedding tomorrow. So, it's gonna be lots of fun. Luckily, the wedding is close by and I think it's like a very easy, like, simple group of girls. Um, I think they're more on the natural side, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, you know, I'm young. If I only get three hours of sleep, I only get three hours of sleep. It's not the end of the world. Um, and tomorrow's Cinco de Mayo, so I'm definitely getting some margaritas tomorrow. But anyways, yeah, so that is it. And anyways, I'm going to stop laughing. Hey guys, so I am about to leave my house. I have another wedding this morning. Five girls, um, which actually is nice because I don't feel as rushed. That's like a good number. Don't get me wrong, I love doing really large bridal parties, but five girls is just like super manageable and easy for me. So yeah, I'm gonna go do that. Luckily, it's only 20 minutes away. They're getting ready at a hotel, not that far. Um, and yeah, it's a rainy, gross day today, which sucks. Um, and I'm like dreading lugging all this stuff in the rain into the hotel. I'm thinking I may like pull up, drop my stuff off in the, in the lobby, and then go park. 
I'm thinking. Um, I don't know. We'll see. But anyways, that's my plan. Just thought I would update you guys. And yeah, it is currently 7.50 in the morning. So not as early of a start time as yesterday. Which is nice, but I'm exhausted because I went and saw the Avengers last night and I didn't get home till 2.15 in the morning. So... <laughs> I'm pretty tired. Hey guys, so I'm back from my wedding. Um, I just took a quick body shower just because I felt like I was sweating and just like gross. So I just wanted to rinse off really quickly. I'm not bothering with my hair because it is rainy and humid and nasty here in New Jersey today. So it's not even worth it. Curly hair does not mix well with rain and humidity. So, I mean, most hair doesn't, but... Um, yeah, the wedding went well. Everyone was really natural, um, which to be completely honest, doing really natural makeup, I do it all the time. It's just not my favorite to do. It just doesn't fulfill me. And I always feel like I'm walking on eggshells because usually people that want really natural makeup never wear makeup. So any amount of makeup to them is going to be like a shock. Um, and I'm just a glam girl at heart. Like, I love glam. So that's the kind of makeup that I love doing. But I totally respect and understand natural makeup. And like I said, I do it all the time. But yeah, everyone was really natural. They all were pleased, which is great. Everyone was really sweet to me. The bride is so sweet. Um, so it was a good day. Um, so yeah, now I am going to meet up with my boyfriend. I'm just freshening up my makeup right now. Um, and we're going to go get some margaritas and some Mexican food because it's Cinco de Mayo. So yeah, glad the work weekend is over. It was a busy couple days, but I enjoyed every second of it. I love, I love, love, love wedding season. It's so fun. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I guess I will check in tomorrow. All right, you guys. So that is it for this vlog. I thought I would close it out and um, I will be vlogging the rest of the week but it's going to be for a new vlog. I'm sorry if this vlog was kind of all over the place. I am new to this so I'm just trying to figure it all out. Um, so yeah, next vlog will definitely have more content and a little less talking from me. Um, but yeah, if you like these types of videos, please let me know in the comment section and give this video a like. Um, I have a busy week. Again, I have lots of spray tan appointments, prom appointments, and another wedding. So yeah, I will be showing you guys that. And hopefully you like this kind of content of me, like, letting you in on what it's like to be a freelance makeup artist. Um, so yeah. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Boys, I'm a fool for your love.